Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to discuss about error 0xc00007b. If you've got that error, this is the video for you to get it resolved. This error might occur when you are trying to open different applications on your PC. Now uh, let's go and check out the first solution for this error. What you need to do, you need to open up your web browser. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And uh, here you need to type the following direct X space and user space runtime space web installer so uh, type that and then uh, look uh, at the search result if you see microsoft.com and below it direct x and user runtime web installer click on it and here scroll down and uh, select the language so i'm gonna keep it english and you click on download now it's being downloaded here. Open the download. Then um, select I accept the agreement Then click on next. Then here uh, regarding install the Bing bar. We don't need it uh, to sort out uh, this error. So I'm just going to deselect it. Now if you want to keep it you can. It's a personal preference. So I'm going to de deselect it and then I'll click on next installing components and then click on finish so now you need to go again to uh, google.com or to any other uh, search engine you are using and uh, look for .net space framework click on it and here uh, scroll down usually it is the first or second option where uh, where you will see the title .net.microsoft.com and below it download.net framework free official downloads Microsoft so when you see that title click on it and here you will see the list of uh, .net framework versions uh, you need to go for the latest one which is usually put recommended near it so here it is .net framework 4.8 click on it and then click on download.net framework 4.8 runtime download the, click on download and click on open now um, uh, the file is being opened your installation will not occur see below for reasons why .NET Framework 4.8 or later update is already installed on this computer. So .NET Framework 4.8 uh, is already installed on my computer. Uh, if it is not installed on your computer, install it. Continue with the steps until it is installed. Once it is installed, restart your PC and this error should be resolved. Now this is the first solution for this error. If that didn't work for you, uh, let's go now to the second solution. For solution number two, you need to go again to your web browser. So I'm going to uh, close this um, window and I will type google.com and then I need to put Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributor latest supported downloads. So uh, type down um, uh, Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributor latest supported download and click on search. Now, um, usually it is the first option. Click on it. You should see Microsoft.com as a website and then the title latest supported Visual C++ Redistributor Redistributable downloads. Click on that. And here, um, scroll down. It's important to read the um, few information that are listed here. Just to summarize it, if your CPU is um, 32 bits, download x86. If uh, your CPU is 64 bits, download x64 here. 
So click on the, click on either x86 or x64 and follow the steps uh, to download the Visual uh, Studio. Now, after uh, the download is completed, restart your PC and this error should be resolved. So in case it wasn't resolved uh, with these two options, there is a third option which you can try. What you need to do, um, you need to uh, go to the search toolbar and type remove, remove or add a program. So add or remove uh, programs, click on it. And here, um, uh, remove the app that is causing this issue. You will see the list of apps which you are having. Remove uh, that app, click on it. Let's say Feedback Hub, whichever the app that is causing the issue, click on uninstall, then go ahead and install it. After doing so, check if that error uh, has been removed or no. So um, this is the third solution. Now, if that also didn't work for you, let's go now and check the fourth solution. For the fourth solution, uh, you need to go back to the app that is making uh, this error. Let's say um, I'm going to choose this app here. Um, right click on it and then go to properties. And then here you need to um, click on compatibility tab. Click on that. Then here you need to uh, click to select compatibility mode. Run the pr this program in compatibility mode for. Select that and here choose uh, the windows that you are using or if it's not in the list, choose the latest one. And then click on apply. And then OK. After doing so, restart the PC and check if this error is resolved or no. If that as well didn't work uh, for you, then uh, you can go ahead and check solution number five. Uh, go again to the app, right click on it, and then click on properties. And here, click on security tab. And uh, here, uh, check permissions for system. Check if, if you have a full control, if full control is allowed. If it's not allowed, click on edit. Then here you will see um, that square uh, selected. So to allow full control. After doing so, click on apply and then click on OK. Uh, then uh, restart the PC and check uh, if this error is resolved or no. If as well uh, this error is not resolved, the last option which you can try to uh, resolve uh, this error, uh, go again to the app, right click on it, and then click run as administrator. So now I am running the app as an administrator, uh, which you can do the same with the app causing the error and check if the error is resolved. With that, I have come to the end of this video. I have guided you through six solutions to sort out error 0xc 00007b. I hope one of them have worked for you. If it did, let me know uh, in the comment section. And if it didn't, let me know the exact problem or the remaining issue that need to be sorted. I will be glad to answer you back. I would also encourage you uh, to subscribe to my channel to watch upcoming videos. Take care. Goodbye.